Hello students, welcome to my channel. Our today's topic of discussion is tangents, a very important part of mathematics. First of all, we have to know what is tangent. Tangent is a straight line which touches any conic at one single point. Like if you consider a very well-known conic, central conic, suppose circle. Okay. Then if we find a straight line which is touching the circle at one single point, suppose it is P here, then that straight line will say to be the tangent to the circle at the point P. So this way of any conic we can find such tangents are there. Okay. Now today we have to first know that how from the equation of a conic, we can derive, we can get the equation of its tangent at any arbitrary point or that. Let us consider the equation of a general conic. Uh, suppose a general equation is considered here. Ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0. Okay. So this equation is considered here which is the equation, general equation of a conic. Equation of a conic. Now let us consider that any arbitrary point alpha beta is existing on it. So let alpha beta is a point on it. Okay. Then let's see how we can get the equation of tangent at the point alpha beta to this conic. It's very simple. Just watch it. This is the equation. Okay. So now equation of the tangent to the conic at alpha beta is ax squared. So this term will be written as a alpha x plus 2hxy. This will be written as h into x beta plus y alpha then comes b y square plus b beta y then comes 2 g x this will be written as g into x plus alpha then comes 2 f y this will be written as f into y plus beta plus c will remain as it is equal to 0. So this equation will give the equation of the tangent at the point alpha beta to this conic ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0. Okay, so this is how the equation of a tangent can be found. So what we have seen here, we have just replaced a few terms of the given equation of the conic by some other term and hence we have got the equation of the tangent at a fixed point. So which are those replacements? If we note them down what we will get? First of all we have seen x square y square are replaced by x alpha and y beta respectively, right? Secondly, we have seen that this 2xy is replaced by this term x beta 
plus y alpha. Thirdly, we have seen that this 2x and 2y, these two terms are replaced by x plus alpha and y plus beta respectively. 2x and 2y are replaced by x plus alpha and y plus beta respectively. And make sure students that these constant terms should not be changed. So this is how we can get the equation of the tangent of any conic at a particular point on it. So we have seen that how simply we can get the equation of tangents of a conic at any fixed point on it. Now let's discuss about the equation of tangents of a few well-known conics. Suppose I'm considering the equation of a circle x square plus y square equals to a square. And suppose I'm taking any point on it, the coordinate of which is alpha beta. Then what will be the equation of its tangent? Equation of, this is a circle. Of its tangent is x alpha plus y beta equals to a square. This is the equation of its tangent, right? Suppose I'm considering the equation of a parabola. It's a non-central conic, we know, as y square equals to 4ax. This is the equation of a parabola. So what will be the equation of it's tangent and I'm considering any point, arbitrary point, alpha beta on it also. So equation of its tangent is y beta equals to 2a into x plus alpha, right? Now, if we consider equation of a hyperbola, that is x square by a square minus y square by b square equals to 1. This is the equation of a hyperbola. We all know this. So equation of its tangent. Here also I am taking alpha beta as a point on it. So equation of tangent and alpha beta x is x alpha by a square minus y beta by b square equals to 1. Similarly, if we consider the equation of an ellipse, x square by a square plus y square by b square equals to 1. We know that the equation of a standard, standard ellipse is this. So this is ellipse. So, equation of its tangent at alpha beta, here also I am taking the point as alpha beta, is x alpha by a square plus y beta by b square equals to 1. And in all these cases, I am considering the coordinate at which the tangent is drawn or is taken as alpha beta, coordinate of the point as alpha beta. Okay, so this is how we can get the equation of tangents of different conics at any fixed point on it. Now we shall discuss the conditions of tangency. It's a very important part of this chapter. Here we will learn that how just by seeing a particular straight line, we can decide that whether it is a tangent of a particular conic or not. So let's see how we can judge it. Okay. So first of all, I am taking the equation of a conic as ax square plus by square 
equals to 1. Suppose I am considering the a general equation of a conic like this. Okay. So let, because we know if we want to get anything regarding tangent, we first get a point, a, an arbitrary point on this conic. So I am considering the coordinate of that point as alpha, beta as usual. So let alpha, beta is any point on it. Okay. So as we know, so equation of tangent At the point alpha beta, is a alpha x plus b beta y equals to 1. That means we can write it as a alpha x plus b beta y minus 1 equal to 0. Let's take it as equation number 1. Okay. Now I am considering the equation, general equation of a straight line. And if that particular equation of straight line is supposed to be the tangent of this conic also, then let's see what should be the condition, what must be there in that equation so that we can judge or we can decide that that particular equation of the straight line is also the equation of its tangent. So let's see this, how we can get it. So let y equals to mx plus c is a tangent to the conic. Means this, to this, okay? Therefore, we can write mx minus y plus c equals to 0. Now look students, we have actually here got two equations of tangent of the same conic. One is in equation number 1 and the one is in equation number 2. Here I have just considered y equals to mx plus c is a tangent to the conic. So now from this we have to get the condition what should be there in this equation so that it is taken as the tangent of this conic. So let's find it out. As both of them are considered to be the tangent of the same conic. So obviously these two equations must be identical. Isn't it? Yes. So equation 1. And 2. Are identical. So this is the, the thing. What we are going to use. The property what we are going to use. To get the condition. The required condition are identical. So obviously as they are identical, so their corresponding coefficients, the ratio of their corresponding coefficients must be equal, right? Therefore we can write A alpha by M equals to B beta by minus 1 equals to minus 1 by C because A alpha was the coefficient of X in equation 1 a minus the coefficient of x in equation 2. So their ratio is found which should be equal to the coefficient of y in equation number 1 by the coefficient of y in equation number 2. This ratio will also be equal to minus 1 by c. Right? So here we can get in the next step a alpha by m equals to minus 1 by c. So, alpha equals to minus m by ac. Right? Okay. And b beta by minus 1 equals to minus 1 by c. That is b beta equals to 1 by c. So, beta equals to 1 by c. Right? So, two expressions of alpha and beta are found here. And make sure students, as we are considering the equation of the tangent at the point alpha beta on this conic, so this alpha beta will say to be the point of contact. 
here another definition is introduced that is point of contact means the point at which a tangent is touching the conic is known as the point of contact. So here the coordinate of the point of contact is first found. Therefore alpha beta that is minus m by ac by 1 by bc is the coordinate of the point of contact. Okay. So now let's try to get the required condition from it. So till now we have got that alpha beta is lying on the conic as we had considered and alpha equals to minus m by ac and beta equals to 1 by bc. Now look students as alpha beta is a point on this conic so can't we say as a alpha square plus b beta square equals to 1? Yes we can say this right. Now here also we can write a into minus m by ac whole square plus b into 1 by bc whole square equals to 1, isn't it? Because alpha equals to this one and beta equals to this value. So we have just put the values of alpha and beta in terms of m, a, b and c. So here we can write a into m square by a square c square b into 1 by b square c square equals to 1, right? All these a's are cancelled, these b's are cancelled. So here, here we get m square by a c square plus 1 by b c square equals to 1. Now look students, we can divide, sorry, we can multiply both sides by c square, right? So let's do this. c square will be then equal to m square by a plus 1 by b, right? So here we can write, considering both positive and negative square root of this expression, c equals to plus minus root over m square by a plus 1 by b. And make sure students, this is the condition what must be followed by y equals to mx plus c? That is c equals to plus minus root over m square by a plus 1 by b. So that it becomes the tangent of the given conic. So this is the condition of tangency. Hope this is clear to all of you. So here we get that c equals to plus minus root over m square by a plus 1 by b is the condition of tangency and hence the equation of the tangent is y equals to mx plus c. In the position of c we will just write down this one that is plus minus root over m square by a plus 1 by b. So this particular representation will give the equation of tangent for any finite value of m. Okay? So, this way we get that if y equals to mx plus c be the tangent of the following codex, then c must satisfy the following conditions. Let's check these conditions one after another. If we consider a circle, the equation of which is x square plus y square equals to a square. Then this straight line will be a tangent of it only when c will be equal to plus minus a into root over 1 plus m square. And hence obviously the equation of the tangent will be y equals to mx plus minus a into root over 1 plus m square. Similarly considering parabola the equation of which is y square equals to 4x we get that this straight line will be a tangent of it only when c will satisfy the equation c equals to a by m. Okay, so obviously the equation of the tangent in that case will be y equals to mx plus a by m. 
Considering ellipse, the equation of which is x square by a square plus y square by b square equals to 1, we get that the straight line will be a tangent of it only when c is equal to plus minus root over a square m square plus b square and hence the equation of tangent will be y equals to mx plus minus root over a square m square plus b square. Considering the equation of a hyperbola, the equation of which is x square by a square minus y square by b square equals to 1, we get y equals to mx plus c is a tangent of it only when c equals to plus minus root over a square m square minus b square. So, equation of the tangent will be y equals to mx plus minus root over a square m square minus b square. So, till now we have seen that the tangents were drawn at a point on the curve. Okay. Now, let's say what will happen if we consider the tangents are drawn from an external point to a curve. Let's check it. Suppose I am considering the most well-known central curve that is circle. Suppose O is the center of it. Okay. So, if we consider an external point P and we draw tangents from this P to the curve, then what will happen? We'll get this type of structure, right? And make sure not only one, you can draw here two tangents. Okay, students. So here we get, suppose the point of contacts are A and B respectively. So here we get that if the tangents are drawn from an external point to a conic, then we can draw pair of tangents to the conic from that external point. Now let's see how we can get the equations of this pair of tangents which are drawn from an external point. Suppose I am considering this circle and the equation of it is taken as x square plus y square equals to a square. So here we get from this equation that length of the radius of the circle is a unit as per my consideration and what is the center? From this equation of the circle, it is clear to us, the center is the origin, 0, 0. So, center of the circle, that is coordinate of the center of the circle is 0, 0. So, this is the description of the circle, what we have taken here. Now, we are considering this P as the external point from which these tangents are drawn. Let's take the coordinate of P as x1, y1. Suppose coordinate of P is x1, y1. Coordinate of P is x1, y1. And now, as we are going to build up the equation of the tangent. So, obviously, we need the coordinate of another point on this the straight line. So, let's take, let uh, Q H K is another point on either of the tangents. That is on any one of these two tangents. So clearly we can get that as these two are the coordinates of two different points which are lying on the same straight line. So from this consideration, we can get y minus, that is equation of the tangent as, we can get the equation of the tangent y minus y1 by x minus x1 equals to k minus y1 by h minus x1, right? So, this is the equation of the tangent, which is, which is passing through these two points, hk and x1, y1. So, here we get the equation of the tangent is y minus y1 by x minus x1 equals to k minus y1 by h minus x1. So, from this we can write y minus y1 into h minus x1 equals to k minus y1 into x minus x1, okay? So, after multiplication, we can get y into h minus x1 minus y1h plus y1x1 
equals to x into k minus y1 minus kx1 plus x1 y1. So this x1 y1s are first of all cancelled. So here we get x into k minus y1 minus y into h minus x1 minus kx1 plus y1h equals to 0. So if we just arrange the terms, we will get x into k minus y1 minus y into h minus x1 plus y1h minus kx1 equal to 0. So the equation of the tangent is at this stage is obtained by this form. Now at this stage we shall use a very important property of circle which gives us that the radius which is joining the center to the point of contact of a tangent is always perpendicular to that tangent which is passing through that point of contact. So obviously this radius will be perpendicular to this tangent if we consider that these two points are lying on this tangent. Okay. So here we get length of the radius as y1h minus kx1 by root over k minus y1 square plus h minus x1 square. Hope you have got it. That is length of the radius is obtained from this equation of the tangent. Here we have considered that property of circle that the length of the perpendicular which is actually the length of the radius of the circle length of the perpendicular from the center 0 0 is taken to this tangent and hence this is the length. So obviously this length will be equals to a because according to our consideration equation of the circle was x square plus y square equals to a square. So length of radius is obviously a. So here we get this is equals to a. Now let's simplify this expression. So for simplification of this expression, we have to just square to both sides of it. So squaring both sides, we get this type of structure. Y1H minus KX1 whole square equals to A square into k minus y1 whole square plus h minus x1 whole square, right? That square root will just be eliminated. So now after expanding to both sides of the equal sign and after doing all the calculations, we are now going to have this kind of structure. After a few steps, we are now going to get this kind of structure, x square plus y square minus a square into x1 square plus y1 square minus a square equals to xx1 plus yy1 minus a squares whole square. Okay. So make sure students this is the equation of the pair of tangents which is drawn from the external point P the coordinate of which is x1 y1. So now by notation if we consider this as s this as S1 and this as T, then we can write S S1 equals to T square. So this is the equation of the pair of tangents which are drawn from the external point to a conic. So here we get that considering different conics, the equations of the pair of tangents from the external point P X1 Y1 are as follows. If we consider parabola, the equation of which is y square equals to 4ax, the equation of its pair of tangents from the external point px1, y1 is as follows. y square minus 4ax into y1 square minus 4ax1 equals to y, y1 minus 2a within bracket x plus x1 whole square. Means the same structure is s1 equals to t square. Considering hyperbola, the equation of which is x square by a square minus y square by b square equals to 1, we get the equation of the pair of tangents from external point p x1 y1 to it is x square by a square minus y square by b square minus 1 into x1 square by a square minus y1 square by b square minus 1 equals to xx1 by a square minus yy1 by b square minus 1 whole square. 
Considering ellipse, we get the equation of the ellipse is taken here as x square by a square plus y square by b square equals to 1. Then its equation of the pair of tangents drawn from the external point px1 y1 to it is as follows. x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 1 into x1 square by a square plus y1 square by b square minus 1 equals to xx1 by a square plus yy1 by b square minus 1 whole square. So, this is the way of getting the equation of the pair of tangents drawn from the external point to different conics. Now, another very vital concept of this chapter is here. The concept of the chord of contact of tangents. Now, what is the chord of contact? Suppose I am considering the circle. Is it, the center is at O. Now, we know from the external point P, if we take the external point as P, two tangents can be drawn to it. One is this one, other one is this one. Suppose they are touching the circle at the points A and B. Okay. Now, if we join this two point of points of contact, A and B are points of contact, right? Now, if we join these two points of contact by a line segment, then this line segment will say to be the chord of contact of the tangents. So, what is the chord of contact? Chord of contact is nothing but the line segment which is joining the two points of contact of the tangents which are drawn from an external point to a conic. Now let's see how to get the equation of the chord of contact to the to this circle. That's why I have taken the equation of the circle as x square plus y square equals to a square. So obviously the center of the circle is at O 0 0 coordinate of which is 0 0 and I have here taken the coordinate of P as x1, y1 and coordinate of A and B are x2, y2 and x3, y3 respectively. Okay. So look students, this tangent, if I consider this one first, is drawn at A, x2, y2. Right. So easily we can get the equation of the tangent to this circle at this x2, y2. So let's find it out. So equation... of the tangent at A is x x2 plus y y2 equals to a square. Take it as equation number 1. Okay. Now, this tangent is obviously passing through this point P x1 y1, right? So, as equation 1 is passing through is passing through p x1 y1 so we can write here x1 x2 plus y1 y2 equals to a square right so, at this stage we get that x1, x1, x2 plus y1, y2 equals to a square. Now, if we consider the equation of the tangent passing through B, means at B, drawn at B, then what will happen? What will be the equation? So, equation of the tangent at B, x3, y3 is x, x3 plus y y3 equals to a square, right? Now, this equation is, suppose I am taking, taking it as equation number 2. Now, this equation number 2 is also passing through px1, y1, okay? So, we get equation 2 is passing through px1, y1. Therefore, x1, x3 plus 
y1 y3 equals to a square. So now we have to just discuss these two structures. Now if we consider these two structures, one is x1 x2 plus y1 y2 equals to a square. Another one is x1 x3 plus y1 y3 equals to a square. So considering these two structures, don't we find that these two points A and B are A and B are satisfying the equation which one? x1 x plus y1 y equals to a square x1 x plus y1 y equals to a square. Is that it students? So this is the equation of the chord of conduct. So what is the equation of the chord of conduct? Look it is quite similar to the equation of the tangent. Okay. So x x1 plus y y1 equals to a square. The only difference is here the x1 y1 is the coordinate of the external point P from which these two tangents are drawn. So what is the equation of the chord of contact here? x x1 plus y y1 equals to a square where x1 y1 is the coordinate of the external point. So this way we get the equations of the chord of contact of the following conic where we have considered that the tangents, the pair of tangents are drawn to them from the external point p x1 y1 in each case. So here considering parabola, the equation of which is y square equals to 4ax, we get the equation of its conduct chord of contact is y y1 equals to 2a into x plus x1. Considering ellipse having equation x square by a square plus y square by b square equals to 1, we get its equation of the chord of contact is x x1 by a square plus y y1 by b square equals to 1. Similarly, considering hyperbola, the equation of which is x square by a square minus y square by b square equals to 1, we get x x1 by a square minus y y1 by b square equals to 1 is the equation of its chord of contact. Where in all cases we have considered that the pair of tangents were drawn from the external point p x1 y1 is the coordinate of p. So in today's video we have got several concepts regarding tangents of different conics. First of all definition of tangent. Then we have known that how to form the equations of tangents at a particular point of different conics. Then we have known what are different conditions of tangency of a straight line to the conic. And here we have considered different types of conics also. Then we have known that how to get the equation of the pair of tangents which are drawn from an external point to a conic. Here also we have considered all types of conic, circle, ellipse, parabola, hyperbola. And finally we have known that definition, what is the definition and how to build up the equations of the chord of contact of tangents where the tangents are drawn from the external point to the conic. So please go through entire portion, all portions what I have discussed today to make the concept, entire concept clear and in my next video I will discuss a few more things regarding these tangents and also in the coming videos, I'll discuss about several other topics too. Till then, take care, stay safe.